since I think uh, Galadriel it is <laughs> boring as hell. This bitch was stone faced the entire first two episodes. Like she had the same face the entire two episodes. And we're back. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Atreus. I'm coming at you live from the ATL, bringing you more gaming entertainment news, commentary, and analysis. And today, we got to talk about IMDb, or should I say Amazon, hiding reviews on their website. Ah, let's get into it right after the drop. All right, team, so before we get into it, you know, we got to do a little bit of housekeeping. Go ahead and hit the like button, the red subscribe button, if you are enjoying the content. If not, go ahead and hit the dislike button and roast me in the comments, all right? Follow me on Instagram, A-T-R-A-E-S underscore on Twitter, the number four, T-R-A-E-S, and we can get a conversation going. You can, DM me, uh, you can DM me at any time, bro. I swear I'll be struggling to talk. Anyway, let's get back into the news. All right, guys, so listen, I just need people to be aware of this because, you know, this is where the industry is headed. IMDb is hiding user reviews. On their site, you can't find a single review that is less than a six, hold on, I got something in my eye, less than a 6.5, you know, this is pretty, uh, in my opinion, pretty nefarious because it, it 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 breaks the integrity of the site. IMDb is not to be trusted. Okay, this is why people listen to YouTubers and not critics anymore. Like like you think people weren't gonna notice this? Ten out of ten, six out of ten, eight out of ten, nine out of ten, nine out of ten, eight out of ten. 9 out of 10, 10 out of 10. Like, have they lost their damn minds? You thought people weren't going to notice this? I mean, this is ridiculous. Amazon, IMDb, is hiding reviews. Now, this isn't going unnoticed because people are aware. All right. Oops. People are definitely aware of why. As soon as I scroll, this shit's going to refresh. But, yeah, so IMDb is hiding reviews. <laughs> Keep your secrets. That's funny. Uh, people are very aware of what's going on here. Here we go. I saw this tweet earlier. You can't find a single rating on their site below a 6.5. This harms the integrity of the rating system. This is why people listen to YouTubers. Now, of course, casuals, you know, they don't really care about any of the politics to go in it. They just want to watch a good show. And so when they go and read ratings and they see this, they're like, oh, okay, well, it's a good show. You know, I'll check it out based on the ratings. Now, if you go to, um, if you go to Rotten Tomatoes, <laughs> the audience score is about 32% right now, 33%. All right. Now, as far as a review goes, uh, like I said before, I am not going to review Rings of Power per se because I don't believe that I'm qualified to do that. I am not a Tolkien expert. I, I only read two of the books, The Hobbit and I think the first Lord of the Rings. And I'm pretty sure like there are dozens of books, if I'm not mistaken. I think my, my impressions of the show is that it's very beautiful. Like that's not, that's not an exaggeration. It, it, it looks like it, a billion dollars was spent on the show. All right. If you watch this show on silent, it might be a 10 out of 10. <laughs> it might be a 10 out of 10. Uh, I think some of the designs, the costume designs are pretty dope. All right. The aesthetic around it is pretty dope. But I think some of the dialogue is a little bit off. It's not cringy. It's not cringe levels yet, but it's a little bit off. Some of it doesn't make particular sense. I think uh, Galadriel is <laughs> boring as hell. This bitch was stone-faced the entire first two episodes. 
Like, she had the same face the entire two episodes. I get her motivation, but at the same time, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. The story is going to make her motivation make sense because obviously the enemy that she's looking for is still out there. But it's like everybody trying to go home. Bitch, you still trying to fight. <laughs> You've been stone-faced. Why don't you go somewhere and get some get some dick in your life? Like, what the hell is going on? But ultimately, she's going to be right for the sake of the story. Otherwise, there's no story. So it's not really a criticism. My, my only criticism is that why is she stone? Like, she has no emotion. She's stone-faced the entire show. Like, she's got the same confused face. Like, should I stay or should I go? <laughs> like, what the hell? Like, but, you know, we'll see. Hopefully, she gets a little bit better. Uh, I did see a little bit of that Mary Sueness in the beginning in that first episode when they were fighting a little ice troll. It's like, so your whole team is incompetent when it comes to fighting the ice troll, but here you come, you just got... So it, it should be no problem with her going off to fight things by herself because evidently she don't need her team. She don't need her team. They got a, a, a ice troll pulled up on them with the hands. It was like, bitch, do something, do something. And her team couldn't do shit. And then she showed up and ice troll wasn't shit. So she don't need a team, right? But hey, but still, nobody can answer my question, though, on why is this show being uh, review bombed and not House of the Dragon? I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, I'm going to check out on that little tidbit, guys. Get back to watching the Georgia game. We going duck hunting. Go dogs. I'm out. Deuces.